In this video, I'm going to look at the change of base formula for logarithms. And this is going to allow us to take the logarithms of other bases other than e and the base 10. If you remember on the calculator over here, we have our log button for base 10 and natural log for base e. Well, now with this change of base formula, we're going to be able to change the base of any logarithm to any base that we want. And up here at the top, we simply have log base a of x. So base a can be anything. And if we want to change this to any other base, and if we want to change this to base b, let's just say base b, then you're going to take log base b of x divided by log base b of a. Now, which base do you think we want to change it to? Well, because our calculator has a base 10, then it's going to make sense that we want to probably change it to base 10. So that's why I have here log base 10 of x, log base 10 of a. So this is our common log. So if we know what x and a is, then we can change it to any base, or we can calculate this by taking the log of x divided by the log of a. Now, because the calculator also has the natural log key, we can certainly use the natural log. So we could take the natural log of x divided by the natural log of a, and we could still evaluate the logarithm. So either one of those will give you the same answer. So let's look at an example here. We have log base 5 of 18. They want us to rewrite the logarithm as a ratio of common logarithms and then evaluate. So if we rewrite this as a common log, that means we're going to change it to base 10. So we would certainly just take the log of 18 divided by the log of 5. Okay, so there's the ratio, and then if we want to evaluate this, this is going to be equal to going to the calculator. We would type in log 18. Now this part's very important. Notice how the calculator gives you parentheses. Before you hit divided by, make sure that you close the parentheses here, otherwise you're going to get the wrong answer. So close the parentheses, divided by, and then we have the log of 5 and then once again close your parentheses so if we go back here log of 18 divided by the log of 5 and if we hit enter we get 1.79 or 1.796 if you will so this is equal to 1.796 and just to kind of prove this for uh, this case if we wanted to we could actually use the natural log if we were to take the natural log of 18 divided by the natural log of 5, we're going to get the exact same answer because this formula will change it to any base that we like. So if we look at the natural log of 18 over the natural log of 5, let's see what we get. Natural log of 18, close the parentheses, divided by the natural log of 5 close parentheses, hit enter, and notice we get the exact same answer. So this allows us to change our base to any base that we choose. Now again, we probably want to use natural log or log because that's what we can enter in the calculator. All right, see if you could try this next example on your own. All right, here we have log base 7 of 25. Again, we want to write it as the common log, so that would certainly just be the log of 25 divided by the log of 7. And once again, if we go to the calculator, we can type in the log of 25, close the parentheses, divided by the log of 7. And notice here we get 1.65. So your answer then would be 1.65. Okay, so that's a pretty easy formula, hopefully, for you. And just to kind of emphasize this, uh, here we have two more examples of rewriting the logarithm as a ratio of natural logarithms. So here, we're going to use the natural log. So once again here, log base of 2 ninths of 45. Then we could write this as the natural log of 45 divided by the natural log of 2 ninths. So once again, if we go to the calculator, natural log of 45 divided by the natural log of 2 ninths 
and we get a negative 2.53. Okay, now this other example over here, we have log base x of 13 over 22. Well, if we're going to write this as a ratio of natural logs, then the only thing we could do here is write this as the natural log of 13 over 22 divided by the natural log of x. Now, because we don't know the value of x, we can't put this in the calculator, but if we were given a value of x, we could evaluate this, but we could certainly write this as a ratio of natural logs. All right, so there you have your change of base formula. And again, we could change these things to any bases that we like, uh, but again, most likely you're gonna use the common log or the natural log, whatever which one you prefer, to evaluate your logarithm. Uh, for example, uh, if we wanted to, now again, there's really probably no immediate need to do this, but if you have log base 7 to 25, if we wanted to change the base from 7 to, let's say, 3, we could actually write this as log base 3 of 25 divided by log base 3 of 7. So if we had a way to put this in the calculator, you could certainly take log base 3 of 25 divided by log base 3 of 7. And of course, if you evaluated this, you would still get the same answer of 1.65. So keep in mind, if you're doing the change of base, you're simply taking the log or natural log of this x divided by the log or natural log of the base a.